Hello and welcome to another video from the Technology Training Team, a department of the Prince George's County Public Schools IT Division. Today we're talking about Canvas Dashboards. Canvas is an app that allows teachers to create interactive online courses for their students. The dashboard is the first thing you see when you log into Canvas. It shows what's happening in all of your Canvas courses, as well as district announcements shared by the entire school system. By default, the dashboard is set to card view, which displays your current courses as cards. Each card includes the course name, code, and term. To open a course, just click the title. To return to the dashboard, click the dashboard link in the navigation menu on the left. The teacher who created the course can also choose to show icons on the card for any of the following modules. Announcements, Assignments, Discussions, or Files. You may also see a number above one of the icons. This means you have new content for that module. To view the content, just click the icon. In addition to cards for each course, the card view also shows items on your to-do list in the sidebar on the right. Click the title to view details. To remove an item from your to-do list, click the X. If you have a lot of items in your to-do list, you can only see the top few. To see all of them, click Show All. Below the to-do list, you see a list of recent feedback or grades provided by teachers across all of your courses collected all in one place. Just like the to-do list, click the link title to view details about the grade, quiz, score, or other feedback. If you don't like the card view, you can change the dashboard to list view. Just click the three dot menu icon in the upper right corner and select list view. Instead of keeping your courses and to-do lists separate, the list view combines them, showing all the things you need to do, sorted by date, and grouped by course. This includes any tasks that your teacher has assigned. The current date is at the top. To see past dates, scroll up. To see future dates, scroll down. To quickly return to the current date, click Today. For each to-do item, you see the course name on the left, the assignment in the center, and the due date and time on the right. Graded items are automatically marked completed when they are submitted. But if it's a non-graded item, you need to click the checkbox to mark it as completed. If you have not completed the item by the due date, it is labeled missing. If you complete the item after the due date, it is marked as late. If the teacher reassigns an item that you have already completed, it is labeled redo and you will need to complete it again. To view a list of all past due items across all your courses, click the notification icon in the upper right corner. And one last thing, while some teachers may record some grades in Canvas, your official grades are always found in Schoolmax. That's all for this video, but be sure to check out other Canvas videos for students on our YouTube channel. This has been another production from the Technology Training Team. Thanks for watching.